Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in this video, I wanted to talk about something that I think is equally as important as actually offering the perks is the marketing behind it. And I feel, and I've talked to a couple of other people, and they also feel the same, that Verizon has really lacked in the marketing department over the last few months. They have an insane portfolio on value right now, the most in the industry, on offering sus subscription services included in their unlimited plans. Nobody beats them right now, not even close. T-Mobile doesn't, AT&T for sure doesn't. It's not happening. So, to kind of if you're if you're not familiar this is what Verizon is offering on their more unlimited premium plans so you get the Disney Plus bundle which comes with Disney Plus ESPN Plus which recently gained a huge amount of more value now that they're going to exclusively have the La Liga Sports League soccer league for the next 8 years and then Hulu and Hulu has great content as well. Then you get Apple Music for free. Included in the Get More permanently. And then the Play More, it's, it's I think, six or 12 months. That's included. Then if you are a new iPad owner, you get Apple News Plus free for six months. Then the next one that they recently added was... Sling TV, you get up to three months free depending on the plan that you choose. Most of the ones that most will choose is likely a two-month free offer, which is going to save you about, I think, 70 bucks. I think they're, they're going to pay $35 for the two months. So that's going to save you money. And then last but not least, what you see here, Apple Arcade, or Google Play Pass free for a year. Well, 6 to 12 months depending on the Play More or the Get More. If you have the Get More, it's 12. If you have the Play More, it's 6 months. So again, what I just told you guys, huge value. Nobody comes even close. T-Mobile has Netflix on us and they have the in-flight Wi-Fi, I think. Many consider that to be a value play. So that doesn't even come close to what Verizon offers. And AT&T really just offers HBO Max, which we don't know what the future of that is based on that merger that clo that's supposed to close next year. So again, but even with that, if they if AT&T does keep a partnership with HBO Max, that still doesn't get anywhere close to what Verizon is offering at this time. So... I think they need to pick it up in marketing because T-Mobile's marketing is the complete opposite. T-Mobile's marketing will make you feel that they have the best value, the best network overall. They make you feel that and they make you feel like you need to be a part of T-Mobile. That's really the kind of marketing that they're pushing and they are the best at it. They were the best at it during the LTE era, hands down. Everyone else was was boring. AT&T really wasn't a part of the fight under Randall Stevenson because they were so focused on buying this and buying that. So their marketing was really lackluster. And under McDowell, when he was the CEO of Verizon, it was the same thing. Verizon was too good, too premium to compete against T-Mobile. So T-Mobile decided, okay, this is our strategy. This is what we're going to do. And it worked for them. It really did. The marketing was insane. It still is. They're taking that same approach. They really still have somewhat of the same team that they had when John was CEO. And they're taking the same approach. They're still continuing with the uncarrier. They're still marketing even more now than they did previously and much more aggressive. 5G leadership, 5G, 5G reliability. I mean, you name it, they say it in the commercials. So... Again, I think it's, marketing is equally as important as actually 
offering the perks. That's just my take on that. I think that's important. I think Verizon really has to come out and really approach marketing differently. Maybe they're already doing that on the back end. We'll see. The current marketing, I don't think I don't think that's working for them anymore. If you guys have seen it with the white background and then just uh you know, they they just very quickly tell you, "Hey, this is what we got." I I, I don't think it's an attention getter. T-Mobile gets your attention with their commercials. They have certain tones, certain sounds, certain colors. It's like, oh, I got it. You know, it, it catches your attention. And magenta, the color, just catches your attention anyway. Much better than white. So I think the marketing, if we had to break down the marketing, I think T-Mobile is the best at that. Followed by AT&T. AT&T has stepped it up. They, they, they're getting their point across. It's very big when they say new and existing customers get our deal. That's a big one. That's a really big marketing. It's short and sweet, but it's big. Verizon, they lack marketing. I, I think the marketing that they're currently displaying is really just focused on network, 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 not really about the perks. And then I think the volume of the ads is, are way down. They're not spending enough. Maybe that ramps up in Q3, Q4. Maybe they're planning some huge promo for the iphone launch we'll see but i think what they have right now needs to be marketed much higher volumes a thousand dollars for a broken phone i i've seen the advertisements but not enough they need to do it much more aggressively all the perks apple arcade google play plus pass apple music disney bundle sling tv free for two months i mean those are massive perks massive perks and i think they need to start marketing them way more aggressively so let me know how you, how you feel about that in the comment section down below look forward to reading all your comments if you have been on the channel or you are new to the channel and you have not yet liked shared subscribed make sure you do so hit the notification bell so you are notified when i do upload content make sure to follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions thanks again for watching this is tyrone with tech life and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.